quick video, we're going to be looking at the joystick. And this joystick is alternative to a resistance joystick. As you know, in a normal joystick, you have two trim ports or three, depending on configuration. Uh, one would be controlling up down and it will be just tilting off center of the trim port. The other one would be the same. And in this case, we also have right and left. This joystick, however, is not em uh, employing any trim ports or resistors, variable resistors. This joystick has magnets and uh, hole sensors. So I've already pulled it apart just so it's easier. So I'll take the knob off and that whole thing comes off. That's just a rubbery thing. That's the joystick. So if you can see, once I put that, the right left motion, you can see, let me zoom in even closer. You can see a magnet inside. And if I'm turning the knob right and left, the magnet goes past the hole sensor. The same for the sides. This one is up down and this one is right left. So this is a very reliable joystick. As you know, the tracks on the uh, variable resistors can uh, get dirty and they might you know, have some faults. With the magnet ones, it's really hard to make them faulty. So again, uh, this is a um, says joystick controller Sake S A K A E, and the type is T R Y two zero three five one one three one zero. So it sounds like a serial number, but it's actually it doesn't have a serial number. It's um, it's the type. So that's the joystick in case you ever wanted to build a project uh, that is, has a very reliable joystick. That would be the way to go. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.